Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to this braces update. If you're new here, I have a whole series of braces content on my channel. I'll leave the playlist up here so you can go check it out whenever you want. The last update I did was my three month update. It has now been 13 months, but I do have some little tips and tricks and some crazy discoveries that I have to share with you in this video. So this video is gonna be split into timestamps. I'm going to be covering aesthetics, bands, tightening, eating and comfort, the issue with the brown bits that I had on my teeth, my before and after photos, and my dental hygiene. And then at the very end, I'm gonna be talking about some other procedures that I'm about to have done. So let's first talk about the aesthetics. My goodness, my face has changed so, so much than how it used to look before I had braces. I found some footage from probably three years ago now, way before I had braces. And it's really weird because I feel like at this time, my face was kind of like holding a lot of water or a lot of fluid. I don't really know, like I, my face kind of looked bloated all the time, which is very weird because I was exactly the same size as I am now. I hadn't really put on any weight, but for some reason my face was not looking its best. It's just such a difference from now after having had braces. I'll add in some other footage of my face. Obviously in the last update, um, I had already noticed these changes to my face shape after just three months. But yeah, my cheeks have hollowed out a lot more. My face has just, it just looks so much more proportionate. I feel so much more attractive than I used to. I didn't expect that getting braces would change the way my face is, but it did. It's also made my face look a lot more mature. So the next thing I wanted to talk about is bands. So you might have noticed I've got some like turquoise bands in my teeth right now. I've only had two different colors, but I've got a bit of a horror story to tell you about the first time I got bands. So the first time I got bands, I went for this really beautiful pale blue color and I don't have any pictures of when I had them first put on but I'll put a picture of what they look like in general. About two or three days after this I went to London with my dad and we went to this really nice Thai restaurant and I had this green curry and it was like green as green like it was the greenest green curry I have ever seen I'm, I'm pretty sure it must have had some kind of like green coloring in it because I've never seen a, a curry that green anyway <laughs> so you can guess where this story is headed day after this I saw my boyfriend and I was like hey look at my braces do you like them they're blue like they're so cute and he's like they're not blue they're green and I was like what no they're like definitely blue and he's like they are green and we were outside, so I couldn't, I couldn't see what they looked like. And I, I guess I hadn't looked in the mirror very closely since the day before. But I looked in like a car wing mirror and they were bright green, bright green. Um, so, and it was really annoying because also the blue bands are on the braces themselves. And then he put these clear bands along the bar. I don't know what for, but they had gone green as well. So I had these bright green braces. I was like, how has this happened? Like I've just got them on a couple days ago. Anyway, so I emailed the dentist and they were like, oh, we don't really know like what this could be. But yeah, sometimes when you eat like foods with like strong food coloring or like turmeric or like just strong like things that stain your teeth like it can stain the bands so if you're getting a very pale color of band like it's very likely that it will change color so um unfortunately i couldn't get these taken off i keep saying dentist but it's an orthodontist they're like an hour away so i kind of just had to live with it for the next two months <laughs> but the green color did kind of fade after a while like they they went less green the last time I went. I decided to get like a brighter kind of more solid bluey turquoise color. I don't know if it's just me but I think that maybe they've gone a slightly more green than they were. They were a bit more blue I feel but in different lights they look slightly different. I like the color so it's fine. Because I'm getting my braces off in about two months I'm probably not going to get to experiment with many more colors which is a shame because I kind of wanted to try like pink and purple even though I'm 26. Uh, I still wanted colorful braces. <laughs> so yeah, I got what I wanted at least. So let's talk about the tightenings. I have been going to get my braces tightened every two months. The tightenings haven't hurt a lot at all. I got a lot of comments saying, oh, watch out for the tightenings because they're gonna be like really painful. But definitely by far, the first week of having braces was the most painful. It never 
was that painful again ever. The tightenings stopped being painful after about like four or five months I guess. Every now and then I'd get like slight tenderness here and there but like it wasn't to the point where I couldn't eat or anything. Sometimes if I'd just gotten them tightened I could like only eat on one side of my mouth but it like really wasn't that big a deal. And also the tightenings are so quick. Probably five minutes maybe less. Let's talk about eating and comfort. Eating has really become second nature for me. I haven't had any problems with eating at all. Sometimes after getting tightenings, I found it kind of hard to eat certain foods like eating steak was quite difficult um, Like doing a lot of chewing and stuff, but I don't really eat steak that often anyway I still can't bite into apples or like really crusty rolls and I haven't had to use the wax since about Probably like the fourth month in I haven't really had to use the wax at all I genuinely thought that I would be having to use the wax for like the whole year I was like, oh my god I'm gonna have to buy more wax because they give you a little packet and I was like this is not gonna be enough And I, I tried to use as little as I I could because I, I was trying to stretch it out to last a long time but honestly after about th four months I never had to use the wax again it was fine you'll see in the video where the first week of having braces I genuinely felt like I was never going to be able to eat again I even like emailed the orthodontist I was like I'm scared like I don't this is not right like I'm not gonna be able to eat ever again and it was completely fine so let's get on to the brown issue so in my last update I showed how like my teeth had started to go like they had these little brown stains on them and it was really confusing because I've still been brushing my teeth like pretty thoroughly um, but I think just my toothbrush can't really get to certain places I guess that's to be expected because you just genuinely can't do as good a job with your toothbrush with like braces in the way um, unless you're literally getting in there with the little implements that they give you which I got really bored of doing after like the first two months and that's another thing I haven't been doing that there was a, a point in time where I'd stopped like brushing them in the mornings but yeah Long story, watch the other update. So yeah, I mentioned this to my dentist. Obviously he said that that was very normal, but the next time I went back, I was like, oh, they're still kind of brown and I'm not really sure. Like I feel a bit self-conscious about it. And he was like, don't worry, I'll give him a little clean. So once he took the bar off, he like got his little drill cleany thing and he just gave them all a quick clean. And that did get rid of the brown bits, which I was like, thank you. Those like really brown bits haven't come back, but I have noticed that my teeth have gone a little bit more yellow, which is a bit annoying because a couple years Back, I had like a whitening treatment that I spent like 200 quid on. My teeth are still pretty white, but I just find that it's like near the gum line. They're stuck. They're just a bit more yellow. I feel like it'll be alright because I know that when they take them off, they do give them like a thorough clean so that your finished result is like nice but i have found a miracle product that has helped me so much that i literally don't know how i will live without but i'm going to be talking about that after i show the before and after photos so stay tuned so let's have a look at the before and afters of my teeth so i have day one at the top three months on the left and one year on the right you can see that the most significant amount of change happened within that first three months and they have straightened out a lot more since then uh but the changes are just a little bit more subtle. But you can see that they're lovely and straight now. I really love how they look. I can also notice that it's pulled my canines down quite a bit. Um, so you can see that it looks kind of longer up towards the gum. Oh, I should also say that a couple months ago, he kind of shaved off the very tip of that pointy canine at the front, uh, both of them. It's barely noticeable, but you can see that it's just a little less pointy. And I am gonna get another procedure, which I'm gonna talk about at the end. Here is the bottom teeth. I don't know if this is just me, but I've tried to line up these images perfectly so that the teeth are the same. I don't know if this has like changed the shape of my jaw somehow, but you can see that in the beginning one, my jaw off to the left is like going a little bit more out. But again, this is what I'm talking about, the aesthetics, like it's really like leveled out and evened out my whole face in general. And this is my smile. Definitely, I feel that my smile has improved. It's brought all my front teeth from like the sides outwards a bit. So I used to have these big dark gaps where you couldn't see anything because my teeth were kind of like going in more. And now the braces have brought them out. So I've got more of a toothy smile, which is fabulous. And I really like smiling a lot more now. Um, this is probably 
probably the best four and a half grand I've ever spent on myself, honestly. I know it's a lot of money, but it was an investment. And I didn't have any before photos of like underneath, but I do have this mold of my teeth, how they looked before. So you can kind of see they used to be kind of more in and now this has kind of taken them out and rounded it off a bit more of a semicircle. And here's the bottom. So that's my before and afters. Let's talk briefly about my dental hygiene, a miracle product that has been helping me so much with keeping my teeth clean. I got a water flosser, a water pick is also known as. This thing is amazing. I use this every single evening without fail. If I don't use it, I feel like my teeth aren't clean. And whoa. I didn't realize there was still water in that. So basically this flosses your teeth with water. It uses very high pressure water in this tiny little spout and you put it up to your teeth just like at the gaps and around the gums and it shoots such high pressure water that it blasts out any little bits and any like plaque and crap that is remaining on there and around your braces. Definitely get yourself one of these, especially if you're not very keen on flossing. And also because flossing with braces is kind of a little bit tricky at times. But even before I had braces, I hated flossing. I didn't do it very often because I found it really awkward to get my hands up in there. This one I got from Boots, it was about 30 pounds. I will leave the link to the exact one I got below. And it's so much fun to use because you get to see how much stuff was in your teeth after brushing. So I will brush my teeth and I'll brush them pretty thoroughly um, with my electric toothbrush you think you've got all the little bits out of your teeth you swish your mouth around with water you spit it out nothing comes out you think okay good my teeth are clean no no i then go in with this and i swear like sometimes like five like sometimes like 10 extra little bits come out of my teeth i don't know where they were hiding obviously like in between the teeth but it's astonishing how much little bits of stuff is still left in my teeth after brushing like thoroughly and my teeth feel like so clean after this it gives me peace of mind that i'm going to bed and there's no little bits of food like hiding or like peppercorns or like little seeds or whatever stuck in my teeth and i can just sleep easy and like yes my teeth are clean. <laughs> That's that. And the last thing I wanted to talk about was the procedure that I am going to have done, which I can't remember if I spoke about in my other braces videos, but it's quite significant. This is actually the reason that I got braces. Basically, I have two sets of canines. So I have an extra set of canines where I'm meant to have lateral incisors. So you're meant to have two other like straight, normal square teeth next to your front teeth and mine are pointy. And they've always been like quite far forward. Initially, I'd gone to the dentist and I wanted to get composite bonding to basically cap over these and make them look square just to give my my smile and my face just just genuinely it was to make my smile look better because I hated smiling and I just didn't like the way my face looked when I smiled and that's kind of a sad thing um so that's what I initially went for and she's told me like we can do that but it would be better if you really want to like improve your smile to get like your teeth straightened first and then get them capped over I say capped it's composite bonding so that's what I did that is why I have got braces and it was an expensive investment but to me it's it's 100% worth it. But the thing is though, once you get your braces off, like immediately after you get them taken off, you get your retainer fitted because it has to fit your teeth exactly. But because I'm gonna be changing my teeth, I basically have to, on the same day, once I've got them taken off, head over to my dentist, which is in a separate dentist, get the composite bonding put on, get like my teeth basically changed, and then head back to the orthodontist for them to fit my retainer straight away so that I can then wear it for however many years. You've gotta wear it like every day for like for a long time you have to wear your retainer otherwise your teeth will move back to how they were slowly that's what i'm gonna have done it's gonna be a stressful day um but <gasps> my smile will look straight so yeah that's it unfortunately my orthodontist won't let me film any of the stuff that they've been doing so i wish that i'd had more footage to show you but whatever and i just wanted to say another thing about having braces is i've really enjoyed it like i don't even want to get them taken off i love how they look i think they look super cute i've had a few people message me saying how do you like find confidence with your braces like i feel like they just make me feel really self-conscious and people like hate the thought of getting braces but i love it i used to love the show brace face growing up and i always wished that i could have braces but obviously i didn't really have anything majorly wrong with my teeth so that's why i didn't have them and that's why my braces 
closest treatment has taken a lot shorter than many people. But yeah, I think they look so cute. I think they add like a bit of character, a bit of personality. I like that they look kind of go goofy. I like that they're associated with like when you watch like TV or films and you've got like the character with the braces and they're always like kind of, I don't know, <laughs> like I just associate everything in my life to like a film or a character. Sometimes they actually do make me look younger, which is nice. If you're getting braces, like don't even worry about it. They're so cute to me, I think. Please do follow my Instagram. I've been trying to get to 10,000 followers for like forever. I've been on 9,000 for the longest time now. And if you want to see more of my exclusive content, you can check out my Patreon below as well. If you want to see how I do my fake freckles every day, I'm going to leave a video somewhere here. And if you want to see how I cut my own hair into layers, uh, I'll leave a video right here. And I hope you enjoyed the video today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah.